This is Mary Franklin, the Executive Director of the National Headache Foundation. We thought it was a good time during these high holy days of the Jewish faith to talk about fasting headache. There are two days of fasting in Judaism. One, of course, is Yom Kippur, which is October 9th this year, and then Tish B'Av on July 15th, and I apologize for my um, Hebrew. Um, We've written several times about fasting headache, and it is available on our website. But I want to quote a 1995 study from Israel. Um, those with history of headache are more likely to experience a fasting headache during Yom Kippur when you fast for 24 hours. And what they found in this study is it wasn't due to caffeine or nicotine withdrawal. It was probably due to um, hypoglycemia, and the number of headaches linked to the or linked to the duration of the fasting. So, if you didn't fast the entire 24 hours, you may not get as many headaches. And we'll go back to some of the rules of the um, of Judaism regarding how to handle if you do know you're going to get a fasting headache. A uh, fasting headache is considered a secondary headache. Now, there are two types of headaches. There's primary, such as migraine or cluster, with a definite cause as far as the root of the headache. But secondary headache is traced to another cause. Uh, it might be fever, might be exposure to um, nitrates, or um, to fasting. Fasting headache is definitely a type of secondary headache. And this fasting headache and the most common form of fasting headache is, or secondary headache, excuse me, is due to a disorder of homeostasis. That is the balance in our bodies, our internal balance. And these headaches will usually resolve when the cause of the headache is resolved. So if you eat or drink something, the headache goes away. Hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, um, his side was originally cited as a cause for migraine headaches or fasting headache by McDonald Critchley uh, back in 1933. Dr. Critchley was a very famous British neurologist and advanced the study of headache considerably. He felt that if people with migraine who had a, a, a a lean, or had a tendency to migraine headache, should try to maintain a regular meal schedule. And if any of you have been to a headache specialist, that is one of the things your doctor or your healthcare practitioner, your nurse, your phys a physician assistant will tell you. Maintain a regular meal schedule, maintain a regular sleep schedule. This can help you prevent a fasting headache. If you're dieting, do not skip meals. Just eat on a regular, cut back the calories, but cut back the carbs, but eat on a regular meal schedule. It's important to have those meals at the same time every day. Now, we'll go back to the religious rituals. Rules um, in Judaism are strongest on Yom Kippur as opposed to the uh, July 15th um, date. So I'm going to read to you the guidelines, and you can see these on our blog, um, but the guidelines that have been established for uh, fasting headache on those with headache, with migraine, are the individual has been diagnosed with migraine that can be caused by fasting. The migraine appears after an aura, or the aura lasts for over one hour. And no migraine medication, such as suppositories or sprays, can prevent the onset of headache. So uh, I would suspect that if you are troubled by this, that you speak to your rabbi or uh, someone who would be familiar with the guidelines. The guidelines were published on www.israelnationalnews.com, and you can see that on our blog, too, uh, the link to it. Um, and then there's other religions that have fasting um, issues. One is Catholicism. During Lent, Catholics are supposed to be fasting. Uh, no, no snacks between meals if you are between the ages of 14 and 59. And this is for all 40 days of Lent. The other issue 
um, would be, and this is for all Catholics, no matter how old you are, that you have, uh, if over 14, that you abstain from eating meats and meat products on Ash Wednesday, each Friday during Lent, and especially Good Friday. So you have to decide um, about eating regular meals, getting enough calories so you avoid fasting headaches during the Lenten season. And finally, for Muslims, the fasting headache associated with Islam is the first of Ramadan headache. Muslims are required to fast between dawn to dusk during the month of Ramadan. And it's believed that these headaches are not due to hypoglycemia, but they're rather that they're due to caffeine withdrawal or dehydration. Uh, Muslims can eat a meal starting at or before dawn and also right after dusk. It's different than the Yom Kippur headache because you're fasting for 24 hours. So um, for the migraine sufferer who is observing Ramadan, the use of an abortive agent prior to the fasting period may help prevent the what they call the FAR, first of Ramadan headache. You should discuss this with your healthcare practitioner um, to use an abortive agent that's a headache, uh, a medication that you might take uh, if you knew that you were going to get a headache, say types of medication like a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory that you would use around menses time. So it is okay to discuss this with your healthcare practitioner so you can avoid the fasting headache. We'd like to wish all of our uh, Jewish friends a happy um, Shana Tova and thank you for your attention. How bad was that?